Okay, so people ask a few more questions about using aluminum foil uh, to essentially create an RFID wallet and protect your credit cards from RFID skimming. So I showed a few things on the previous demonstration, but there were still a few remaining questions. So I thought I'd go ahead and answer those in a short video. So the, the short of it was that if you have a, a credit card, we have these little simulator cards here that can be read. Um, you can see from the screen that it manages to read the card no problem when it's just placed in a, a standard wallet. This is just a standard leather wallet. It's not RFID protected. So the first thing was, well, what if you put a piece of aluminum foil um, next to the card? Could you still read it? Uh, I can do that outside the wallet first. And indeed, you cannot read it, which is great. So that means that for a single card, that worked really well. So one question people had is, if you had a piece of foil between two cards, could you read either card? All right, let's give that a try. No, can't read that one and can't read that one. So in fact, foil placed between the cards will prevent them from being read. So that's great. So in, you know, as long as you stagger them, foil card, foil card, and so forth, you can uh, protect the cards from being skimmed like that. So that's the first things people wanted to know. Um, the next thing they wanted to know is, well, what if I had a whole group of cards and I just wrapped the group in a layer of foil? So I'm going to take some spacer cards here and put these two spread apart to make it a little bit more difficult on the experiment and I'm going to wrap it up with some foil here and you know you can kind of assume if that were placed in your wallet as a bundle let's see if you can read either of the cards no you cannot all right so as long as you have either a, a single piece of foil adjacent to the card that worked fine to protect it or completely encompassing the cards, that worked fine for a bundle of cards. Or if you just have a few cards, you could space them where it was card, foil, card, foil, and so forth, and that would also protect the cards. So very inexpensive way to protect your credit cards. Um, it's a little bit of a hassle to be fair because you've got this foil that you're going to be having to work with and it gets torn up pretty easy. Now there are other RFID options. There were things like the vault card, which I talked about before. There were also sleeves, um, and there are, of course, specific wallets that have some of the, the uh, foil already built in them to help them be RFID protected. So lots of different options there. Um, I thought I'd just show you how that all worked. If you have any other questions, feel free to write. Otherwise, I think this will sort of uh, finish up our, our look into whether or not foil protects against RFID skimming.